Dandy Lion's Mane. Okay, what's up ladies? Judging by the title, I guess we can already know what this video is going to be about. These pictures right here are just showing that I moisturized my hair a night before, knowing that it was not going to be drying time, but I just twisted up my hair and got ready for the process. The, st the tools that I used, basically um, a comb, a brush, some Equifallic gel, some oil, real easy. So I started off with my oil and I basically put a quarter size amount, rubbed it into my hands and then just rubbed it all over my hair. Then I started unraveling the twist, making sure that I carefully did it to create no tangles, no knots or anything like that. So um, my hair was kind of semi wet in this part. I wasn't looking for like a real defined look. It was more, you know, I don't like to go to sleep with my hair out, so I needed to twist it, knowing that it was gonna be wet in the morning. So after I took them all out, basically I tried to fluff it out some, you know, get some more volume going, fluffed out the top, and just, you know, fluff it out, I guess. <laughs> So now, I basically um, get water into my hands and like pass water all around. I guess the part where the gel is gonna go, I like to add water first so the gel does not create any flakes or anything like that. You wanna make sure your hair is moisturized. So I'm adding water all around. And then I'm taking a brush, just a regular brush, and I'm kinda like brushing the water into my hair and it's starting to make it very manageable and Hammable and stuff like that. After I go ahead and take some gel and then I put the gel the same place where I put the water, I just add gel all around. Then I brush some more. I want to go ahead and get that nice sleek look, so I'm going to brush some more. And then this is the part where I add the shoelace. It's just a regular shoelace, nothing fancy. Um, it's not a short shoelace because I know they come in different sizes, it's kind of long. Well, I put the shoelace on and then I just pull. And when I pull, you know, it creates that puff effect. And then I wrap it around the front and then the back. Because it's a long shoelace, you know, you don't want the shoelace to be sticking out when you tie it. So then I tie it at the top. And then after I finish tying it, I do like, you know how you regularly tie a shoelace. You want to do bunny ears and all that stuff. Well, I tied the shoelace just like that. And then I tuck the shoelace kind of like underneath the puff so it won't show. So people don't know that I have a shoelace in my hair. Style is real easy. It takes no less than five minutes. You don't even have to do the twist in the beginning. Like I just did the twist over there and parted it with a comb and stuff for my purposes. I just want to twist. But usually I don't wear twists when I um, do the style. It's just the full puff. So now with the twist on the sides, you can see I already have bobby pins in them. Um, I just took the bobby pins out and then I pinned um, my twist going back. And then I did it to the other side of course.
the style is totally complete. Now, what I like to do is, you know, like put some gel on my edges to get the baby look effect, or I feel like the style is more complete. So, I put water on my edges first, of course, because I don't want the gel to flick up. And then I kind of like brush out my edges on each side. And then I just add some gel. I'm going to take any old bandana that you have and basically I'm going to wrap it around the edges. This is slick your edges and actually hold them down and let them dry for like 10 to 15 minutes. You know, while you do your makeup or do anything else that you have to do. And then you come back and you take it out. That's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. This is my easy shoelace puff natural hair video.